All right, audience, what's up? Today, we're checking out some more Darman. Gymnast forced to starve. What happens next is shocking Mardan. Oh. Also, just to preface this video, this Darman video is 17 minutes long. Essentially, we're not going to check out every little detail of this video. We're just going to check out the main pieces of the story so that you can still follow along and we can still make fun of it in cohesive manner. Good job, Emma. <laughs> Did you see that? I almost landed the straddle jump. What I saw was your foot slipped on the landing. I think I see racism. Darman, you A-class director. Of course, you have to get the white lady shaming the black woman of not doing a perfect cartwheel onto the damn floor. I love it, Darman. I love the stereotypes. I love the equality here. Do you think that's going to get us to nationals? I know, I know it needs a little refinement, but I'm so close, I can feel it. Oh, come on, Emma. You're never going to be able to stick that landing and get a perfect score of 10 at your size. Girl, look at yourself. If you're here to coach a bunch of ladies into nationals, the only way I would be able to respect this lady is if she is in better shape than me. Personally, audience, I would not take advice from somebody who's not at the same caliber as I am. Not to say she's attractive or anything, but look, I mean, you got to admit she is in pretty good shape. In contrast to this lady, every bit of skin is sagging to the floor. Why would you take advice from an 80-year-old grandma? I have no idea. She has no opinion in any of this. How many times do I have to tell you? The lighter the body, the better the gymnast. Then show us, Grandma. Coach, I've been trying really hard to lose weight, I promise. Yeah, not hard enough. I mean, look at Dominique. Look how thin she is. That is why she's going to make it to the top. Go on, Dominique. Show Emma what it takes. That's what I like to see. Yeah, that's my white girl. That's my white pride. You hear that, lady? That's what it feels to be white. <laughs> Is this yours? Yes, but it helps me when I feel low on sugar. Oh, there you go again with the excuses. Ladies, could you stretch over there, please? Why is every other girl on the team white? I know I keep going on about the race thing, but dude, it's so obvious. I feel like this woman is racially motivated by something. Look, you are clearly not doing everything that I told you. I mean, what do you want her to do? She can't change her skin tone. Okay, <laughs> I'ma stop. Because if you were, your thighs wouldn't look like that. Her thighs are perfectly fine. What's wrong with them? They look way more muscular than mine. I swear, bro, this grandma, this coach, she looking so punchable right now. Now we have a showcase in one week. Do you really want to be the weak link? Well, girl, you thought wrong. Do you really want to be the weak link to the nationals? Nobody wants to be the weak link. How much weight is this woman wanting this girl to lose? She's going to be doing spooky, scary skeletons by the time the nationals comes around. I thought I was doing well. I'm the second best on the team after Dominique. I did not get you a gymnastic scholarship so you could settle for second. Now you either step up your game or you're off the team. Bro, what? Pause. So you was telling me you're going to kick the second best off your team if she can't get anorexic? If you want to win the nationals, don't you want the second best on your team to begin with? If you kick her off the team, you're damn well going to lose the nationals. This woman is an actual idiot. What? If I lose my scholarship, I'll have to drop out of school. I won't be able to afford tuition without it. Well, maybe you better think about that the next time you feel hungry. This is the exact frame I needed right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is why you shouldn't take advice from people who are not at your caliber. The difference in leg quality is so diverse, it's not even funny. I don't know why this girl's stressing, dog. You better than your coach to begin with, so. I, I already talked to my doctor, and she said if, if I drop any more weight, it's going to be unhealthy for me. Oh. So is your doctor a gymnastic champion? Actually, you know what? No, they're not. They're not a gymnastics champion. They are a doctor! My advice to you, audience, always listen to the doctor. Don't listen to white woman telling you what to do. Exactly. Winning is your number one priority. I mean, I could agree with the fact that winning is a top priority. I mean, I love my Jesus. I love my family. I love my girl. But is winning something the top priority? I don't think so. This woman is scaring me by how weird she's staring at her. Staring is rude, by the way. Nothing else matters. Light as a feather. Perfection as usual. 
And hi, Emma. What is this? You've gained three pounds. That's right, fatty. You are 95 pounds. I can't believe it. You're supposed to be 82 pounds. What the hell is this? No, no, no. This can't be right. I've hardly been eating anything, I swear. The scale does not lie, Emma. Ladies, could you please give us a moment? How many moments do you need with this girl? I just want to say, I've seen how hard Emma's been working with her diet and her training. She's really trying to- Dominique, I appreciate you sticking up for your teammate. I do. But if Emma was truly trying, she would be losing weight. Okay, but like she's not a depressed gymnast like the rest of the girls on the team. Oh, what's the big deal? White, saggy grandma. She actually cares about her health. Get out of here. Really? Another yogurt? It's a good source of protein and calcium. It's healthy. Do you have any idea how many calories are in just one of these? Now, I have spoke to you about this time and time again, Emma. If you're going to eat junk like this, you might as well eat a pint of ice cream. Coach, sometimes I get a little dizzy, so my doctor recommended this. Plus, I see the girls all the time eating snacks. Emma, you're heavier than the other girls. And you know that. Oh boy, what a lot to unpack here. So just because this lady has a slightly worse metabolism compared to the other ladies that are constantly stuffing their faces with ice cream and snicker bars, this woman has to fast for 40 days and 40 nights like Jesus in the wilderness just so that she can have a chance at winning the gymnastics nationals. How unbelievably stupid does that sound? Now this is exactly the lack of discipline that makes athletes plateau. Now if you want to win, which I think you do, right? Then you have to sacrifice. Oh boy, here we go. I'm willing to bet that this girl is gonna faint in front of everybody if she tries. Because we already know that this woman is going to make this girl do the showcase anyways. Because this coach is all high and mighty. She be like white pride worldwide, you know what I'm saying? That's what we wanna see. Great job. You ready? Um... Actually, I'm not feeling too well. I'm feeling really lightheaded. That just means the diet's working. <laughs> what? So because you feel like you're about to pass out, that means the diet's working for a gymnastics nationals tournament? I'm sure there's a few people out in the audience that does gymnastics. Is this a part of you guys is like routine? Do you guys have to make yourselves like anorexic for a tournament? Because I highly doubt you actually have to. I mean, I could be wrong. And if I am wrong, then dude, that sport should simply be illegal. I don't know. I think I need to lay down for a minute. Is it okay if I sit this one out since it's just a showcase and then I can compete in the real competition next month? If you don't go out there, that just proves to me and everyone else that you're not committed to this team. All right, not perfect. But I can work with those scores. She could have got those same scores if she was three pounds heavier, you know? But I can work with those scores. You have got to be the most inappreciative coach I've ever seen. I really think I need to eat something. Eat something? You're two pounds away from a perfect score. I'm sorry. I have to. You eat this and you've destroyed months of progress. I don't really know what exactly the message that Darman is trying to convey in this video. Like, yes, it's important to win, right? You know, I'm pretty sure that everybody here is like somewhat competitive, or at least I hope you guys are competitive. At least you guys have the feeling, the urge to win. But of course you don't want to put it over food, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, where is this an actual problem in the real world? I don't know. I'm just as confused as you are, but you know what? I'm sure Darman's going to wrap this up like a beautiful present at the end of the video. It's an entire meal of a burger and a milkshake. And then boom, you're 20 pounds overweight and you can't fit into your leotard. We've all been working really hard these past couple months. Can't we just have a good cheat meal or something? I know I'd kill for a pizza. A cheat meal. Let me ask you something. Who won the championship last year? I think we know what's gonna happen. Ladies and gentlemen, not to spoil the video, but I'm gonna give my quick theory. This woman is going to join the other girls' team, and then the other gymnastics team is going to win the show. I don't know, just a quick theory. I'm gonna skip to the end to find out if I'm right. All right, Emma, you did amazing. We're all so proud of you. Oh, praising her for scoring second. 
<laughs> you guys are such losers. We have done. What happened? Well, sheesh, looks like I'm right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for today. Please click the video on screen. I promise you'll love it. But uh, yeah, subscribe.